Yo, 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 welcome back to the Further Your Lifestyle podcast, conversations on lifestyle, passions, and hustles. My name is Chris Furlong. I am your host of the Further Your Lifestyle podcast, and today I'm excited to say that we've hit 20 episodes, and we're also here to talk about a quick reflection on on just the progress to date, and a big, big thank you to you um, and everyone that has been supporting, listening, uh, downloading, whatever it is, however you've interacted with uh, the Further Your Lifestyle podcast, it is highly and greatly appreciated. We're just about to hit 550 downloads. Now, I've been harping on for the last couple of weeks that <clears throat> when we hit 500, I was going to do a giveaway and I was going to do some celebration and we hit 500 and then by the time I've even caught up to that, we're already at 550 or so. So things are moving very quickly, but we'll chat a bit more about that later uh, as we get to the end of this episode. So I really just want to reflect on how far we've come and you know take a bit of a, a trip down memory lane over the last 20 weeks and really just reflect on you know the guests that we've had on the podcast, uh, some of the highlights and you know, break down some of the different things and the things that I've taken away from it and hopefully that you have taken away and it might encourage you that if you are here for the first time uh, to maybe jump back and check out some of the different episodes and what is available for you to listen to. Uh, so yeah, let's let's just dive straight into it. So we've had 13 guests uh, to date. Actually, it's 14 because we've had 13 guest episodes and a total of 14 guests within those. Uh, that's up you know, up to date in terms of that is that has been released. And there's been a range of insights and a range of different people covering from, you know, a dream team creator duo. We've had, you know, we've talked about poetry, we've talked about yoga, we've we've spoken to people that are in the reselling business, uh, people that have their own businesses uh, and doing website design as a business. We've had photographers, videographers, we've had game hustlers, we've had dream chasers and ones that are helping people actually actualize those dreams. Uh, we've had a video producer, we've had a gym and health game changer on the uh, podcast as well, we've had an accountant, we've had an, a running machine, and there's plenty more to come. And it's just quite overwhelming to think how quickly this has all happened and the progress and progression I am seeing. And once again, I can't thank you all enough. And I want to quickly touch on the highlights that have been for me. Um, and I think if anyone has been listening through these episodes, you'll start to see that there is some trends along the way around, you know, what people are saying, how similar they are, even though they've had no interaction before. And obviously there's no script, there's no nothing to tell people what they need to say. Everything people have said in these episodes, whether they're interviews or conversations, uh, they've all come out from their heart, from from their reality and from their own, um, you know, side of the story. So it's always great to hear that. And then you start to hear some of the patterns and trends along the way. So for me, the highlights have really been, you know, understanding that deeper learning of each of the individuals, because we always see people on a, you know, what we see from a highlight reel, whether it's Instagram, socials, YouTube, wherever it may be, and you see what you want to see. You see the, the positives. It might be the negatives, people sharing both journeys, but you see, and that's how you kind of, I'm not saying you're judging them, but that's how you make up what they're all about. But having these conversations, you learn so much more about the individual, about the industry, about what they're all about, whether it's a passion, a talent, or a skill, and you just you just get a better understanding, and it will help you realize that, you know, just how capable we can really be if we just put some action into play. Um, and the other, the big takeaway for me has been the rapid fire questions. I love being able to just ask these guys and girls, you know, different random things, you know, not necessarily relevant to the episode. Uh, or theme or, you know, what we were trying to talk about, but just understand a bit better of, you know, things that they would be doing if, you know, they're given $10,000, their favorite books or, you know, childhood memories and things like that. And it's always fun to hear those different perspectives. It's also been great to hear their key takeaways. You know, at the end of each episode, if you haven't listened to each one, uh, I do, I ask the individuals, the guests that come on, you know, what is one thing that you want the audience to take away from this episode? And they share what that is. Now, I'm gonna, not going to tell you what they are, but there is some very common themes and patterns. And it's, it always makes me smile to hear those trends and that different people from different areas across different businesses, different industries are saying very similar things. Um, and that's always encouraging because success leaves clues. And that's what it's all about is having these conversations so you can understand that, hey, this is actually possible for anyone, including yourself. Um, the other key highlight has been the lessons along the way, hearing from each other, hearing from all these different guests of, you know, what's been working, what hasn't been working, some of the mistakes they've made, the highlights, the ups, the downs, everything in between. Uh, 
it's always exciting to hear that because you can learn once again from them. Their success leaves clues and you can, you know, if you're jumping into their type of passion or what they're into or their hustle or whatever, you can learn quite quickly and understand, well, what can you do? Or you can reach out to them and understand what did you do in this situation? And it, you know, really understanding what their journey and what it looks like, because no one's journey is just like, oh yeah, I woke up one, one day and I was just successful. It, it takes a long time of work. And when I say long, that could be as little as one year, two years, but it also could be as long as, you know, five, 10, 15, 20 years. There's no right or wrong answer to that. Everyone's success is defined differently as well. And how they, you know, would say, yes, I'm successful, that's going to come out differently. But, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get what you want overnight. But over time, you will get what you want if you continue to push forward, charge forward, pivot, adjust, and go on that roller coaster ride. The other thing was that I've really enjoyed has been that they're just so down to earth everyday people. And coming back to that you know, first point that I mentioned around, you know, we see highlight reels, we see people's socials, what they're doing, what they're about. And a lot of the time that's always positive or it's, you know, them sharing a circumstance or whatever it may be. But that's, that's how we sometimes represent in our minds who they are and what they're doing. But when you, you know, they might have a huge following, they might have a hundred thousand subscribers or they might have this or that or whatever. But when you actually start having conversations with people, they are just people, they're everyday people. And I think that's the beauty of it is sometimes we can be a little scared to just reach out. And I'm speaking to myself now as well, is it can be a bit scary to reach out to people that have a big following because like, oh, well, why would they chat to me? Or why would they reach out to me? And, you know, we are people, we are humans, we are <laughs> every every person, right? So, <clears throat> you know, we shouldn't be scared. Worst thing they're going to say is no, well, they don't respond. So you're in no different position. Uh, so I think that's been really... Um, just eye-opening for me and it gives me a bit more better realization and understanding that, yeah, these people are everyday Joes are uh, just trying to make their lifestyle, create their lifestyle, create their vision and dream and goal and make it a reality. So just like you and me. Now, the the key, key takeaway, I think, which has been really, really cool, um, it's more of a fun fact, to be honest, is every episode I do ask the guests, you know, what's their favorite book? Um, and to date, there's been about three, actually, I think it's about five people have said The Alchemist. Um, now, if you have not read or listened to The Alchemist, make sure you do. Stop what you're doing right now, jump onto Amazon and go download it or go buy it or purchase it. It's pretty cheap. It's about 15 bucks. Um, it's a game changer. And a lot of people have said that. Um, it's different for everyone in, in terms of how you will receive from it and what you'll take from it. But I think it's a must. Uh, so, if you, if you take one thing away from this episode is go read The Alchemist. But it is, it really does take someone, it, it takes you on a story of someone that goes through a journey of life um, and how sometimes the things that we needed the most or wanted to find are exactly where they needed to be in order. They're exactly where they needed to be and we had to go on that journey to find them. And I won't try and spoil too much there because you really do. And I, I listened to it actually the first time. Um... And that was, that was a good experience. So go check it out. So what is next? Well, we're not stopping. We're charging on. We're going forwards. We're getting plenty more guests on the podcast. Um, over the next coming weeks, we, we do have quite a few interesting folks coming on. We've got a dream team duo again coming on. And this, this one's about building a financial independence. Uh, I have a freelance hustler um, that does all things custom. They'll be joining us shortly as well. I've got a kickboxing psychologist um, doing some amazing things. And that, that's an awesome conversation as well. And then I'm also bringing on a collaborative team that are pushing the boundaries of design and that process of design. Um, and of course, that's just, you know, to name a few and there's plenty more to come. So keep your eyes peeled for those and ears, of course. Now, what else is coming is, well, I did mention at the start around a giveaway to celebrate. Well, as part of that, I will be dropping something very, very soon. So keep your eyes on the socials. And that is the release. You're going to hear it here first of some further your lifestyle enamel pins. Yes, enamel pins. And these will basically be a small token and a reminder for you to charge on, to push on and to further your lifestyle. Uh, small things that you can use as gifts, small things that you can you know purchase to support the, the podcast, or you might just want to purchase them for yourself to give yourself that reminder that you can stick around somewhere. And if you are watching on YouTube, there is a little sneak peek down in the little corner next to my uh, left shoulder, um, but they will be available very, very soon. So keep your eyes on the Instagram, on the socials, 
and we'll be releasing all those details. There is a couple of different versions. There is some that have been exclusive that go out to my guests. Uh, there will be a limited run of 100 of one type, um, which, you know, that will be of a premium price or will be part of the giveaways. And then there's going to be just a, you know, endless supply of ones which will be available for anyone to purchase, whether it's for themselves, for a gift, or to just simply support the podcast. Um, and yeah, so I can keep showing up and continue to bring this content and see if I can spice it up even more. So there we go, 20 episodes in and, and wow, wow, wow. Like it's just, it's just crazy. And it's been a journey already. I've learned so much. I've had to learn so much because creating this has been scary. It's, it's been a challenge. Um, and it took me a while to do it, right? If, if you've listened to my first couple of episodes, I, I do express that a little bit. And <laughs> I'm overwhelmed with the continued support, um, the, the love, the feedback, the encouragement, because uh, it's, it's just... It's just mind blowing. And it's been an absolute pleasure and honor of mine to be able to, you know, bridge these conversations between these guests and these amazing individuals and yourself, right? To be able to host that and have that conversation. I mean, I am learning so much, but it's also just such an awesome thing to be able to say that this is what I do. And I've enjoyed every second of it and I am not stopping. I'm not backing down. We are charging onwards and upwards. Uh, So plenty more to come, folks. We're just getting started. What I need from you is if you think this podcast or an episode will make a difference to someone else, um, or if it's made a change to you, or if it's spoken to you, or if you think it'll help them, you know, maybe further their lifestyle, or maybe you simply enjoyed it, or they will simply enjoy it, please help share the love. Um, You know, whether it be via socials, sending a text message to someone with the link, um, or maybe via word of mouth. Um, All these would mean the world to me, um, and it's not about me, right? But what I'm saying is, I think there is something here with these conversations with people, these amazing, inspiring people that is going to enable others to, you know, inspire them, to motivate them and to encourage them to pursue, you know, a a change, whether it is a lifestyle change, a passion change or a, a hustle or whatever it may be. And that's what it's all about is enabling people to have that understanding that they don't have to do the normal or what everyone is telling them to do or what society is suggesting they have options. There's so much that people can do. And sometimes they just need to hear it from someone else or they need that support. And being able to do this conversation and do this podcast is my way of being able to try and give back to people to help them understand that anyone can do this. It's just a matter of taking action, taking the step and working together as, you know, a community uh, to, to charge forward. So if you could help share, that would be greatly appreciated. And, 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 Don't forget, we are on YouTube, we're on Spotify, we're on Apple Podcasts. So however you like to listen, uh, there is an option for you on the YouTube. There is obviously a few different things, a few sneak peeks of stuff. Have had some B-rolls and video footage of different things. Of course, when I'm with guests, you get to see the guests as well. Um, And Spotify and Apple Podcasts, and there's a few other places as well. Uh, So however you like to listen, make sure you do mention to other people that when you are sharing, there is that opportunity for them as well. Well, that's it, folks. Uh, That is this episode. And if you've got questions, if you've got comments, if you've got feedback, you can jump on over to the Further Your Lifestyle Instagram. That's at Further Your Lifestyle. Um, And jump on over there and, you know, you can leave a comment. You can jump into the DMs, ask a question, whatever it may be. I'm always happy to talk to someone. And if you've got ideas or things that you would love to see on the podcast or whatever, maybe you're just curious, get on board. Jump into the DMs, jump into the conversation, um, into the comments, and be more than happy to, you know, have a have a deeper conversation. And there's plenty more things that I'm working on and trying to build together to continue to further this uh, podcast and bring it to life. And it's just, it's just all very exciting, very overwhelming. Lots of things happening, um, and yeah, it's all good. It's all good. So once again, really do appreciate you being here. It's been an absolute pleasure to be able to have this conversation with you once again. And I really do hope you are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. And uh, we'll see you next week. Cheers.